Good morning, Floss Two. My name is Laura. Happy May. Uh, I want to welcome you to my channel, Stitching by the Shore. It is a channel about cross stitch and every once in a while, some other crafty stuff for life. If you are a returner, thank you so much for coming and watching again today with me. And if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for pressing play. I hope you like what you see. You'll hit subscribe and come back for some more. I am so excited that it is May. I have been waiting for the turnover of the new month and maybe we'll get some spring. It is still rainy, rainy, rainy the last couple days. I'm still wearing sweatery type things because it's still cold. Uh, some of you floss tubers who are in nicer areas of the country, I'm always a little jealous when you say it's 80 or 90 degrees. And I think we, I think we hit a low, uh, a record high of 45 degrees one day this week. That was our highest temperature. So I am definitely looking forward to May and some more spring. And uh, we've got a happy weekend this weekend. My son Connor turns 17 tomorrow is his birthday. So we will be doing a quarantine birthday for him. He's a little disappointed that he can't spend time with his friends, but um, he gets it. And you know, everybody's doing it at this point. Uh, it, it's what we're doing. So uh, we're gonna make a cake. I think we're gonna do waffles with whipped cream and stuff for breakfast, but that's a secret. So hopefully, well, I know he doesn't watch, so there's no, there's no worry about him seeing this before tomorrow. But yeah, so that's our weekend. You know, maybe watch a fun movie tomorrow night and um, he may have some plans. They do virtual sleepovers and, and things like that. So they are embracing the whole virtual movement as well. So I'm sure he has plans later on with his friends to celebrate too. But that's our weekend and that will be the fun thing and something we've been looking forward to. Um, and then of course there's May and Mania, which so excited for even though I'm not going crazy with starts and not doing anywhere near as many as a lot of people I'm gonna enjoy watching all the starts so it's just a fun exciting time and something to look forward to when we've been home so I get a chance to see a bunch of different charts and different designers that are new to me as well so I'm really looking forward to that but let's get started to some stitching this will probably be a pretty short one. I was, I've was i been working on a lot of smalls knowing that I've got bigger projects that I wanted to start in May. So I have three finishes this week. I was on fire. Um, and so I've really done well in my whip pile, I have to say. First off, I'm gonna show you Tiny Modernist. I did this one, sand in the air, salt in my hair. Now these are small but they're deceivingly um, involved, I guess is the word I wanna say. It's all DMC, this is just plain old white Ada. I loved how it looked on the white and so I wanted to keep it that way. But like these flip flops are four different colors and, and these waves are four different colors. Uh, and you know, you know, so every single section, you're doing a lot of switching. So I thought I'd get this done last week and then I was, wasn't sure this week I do, but I made a push for it and it's so cute, I love it. So the plan is, I've done two of these. I've done the ocean breeze and I've done the sand one. I'm going to do one more. I think it's gonna be this one. Um, and then I'm gonna somehow or other display them three in a row as like a triptych. That's the goal. So we'll see, they're, they're pretty quick stitches. Um, beyond the fact that you know you, you change colors a bit so but it looks nice afterwards because you've got the nice um, depth like those flip-flops look uh, like that you know just not one color so she does a good job charting tiny modernist does second this one was in my whip pile for a long time I picked it up last week and then I wanted to just get it finished this week. So it's July Wordplay by Brenda Gervais. I know a ton of you, I'm behind the game. I know a ton of you have stitched these already. This was done in vintage country mocha, 18 count. If you're new, everything's 18 count. So I probably won't keep saying it. Um, I just happen to like that count and that's what I've been doing so far. So that's this one. I, I think I kept all the colors, the faces of the two people in the boat. I just grabbed something because I guess I didn't have what was called for. 
Um, you kind of fudge it a bit because it's not charted. It's charted in all fancy floss and they do not give a DMC conversion. So I had to look at a bunch of different charts or different uh, things and, and get some conversions and go for that. But that's my second finish. And then my third, I did it by the end of April. My Halloween sampler from Cottage Garden Samplings. I always not quite sure if I'm saying that right. I, I participated in the 24 hour cross stitch event last weekend that uh, was created by Jen Lee. I didn't do, I'm team sleep all the way. So, and I didn't get 24 hours. I got 17 hours if you combine Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But um, that, was, that was a lot for me in different times at long sittings. I can't sit for long periods of time. I have different arthritis uh, issues. So that was it for me. And I kind of was paying the price the next day or two um, and then this bad weather came and I'm really paying the price. Um, for so much sitting. I usually have to do a, a, a set time, get up, move around, then, you know, maybe sit a little bit more. So by Sunday, I was a little bit smarter about how I was doing it. Um, but I'm happy with my 17 hours and I have a finish. I was able to finish this and then work on another whip as well. So I was near the end and that's that. Luckily, I was able to pull floss from another finished project for my cat and everything came out. I love this color. It's so funny. Sometimes it looks gray in the pictures, but in person it's also, depending on the lighting, got a kind of purplish tint. I really, really enjoy it a lot. And I like Halloween um, patterns on it too. So I definitely think I'll be getting some more of that. Super excited. Uh, I got this. I was stitching this to try to get it done in April because Lisa over at Cross by Floss, did a birthday month of Halloween starts and it was all Hallows April, I think was the hashtag. And if you haven't seen her latest floss tube, it came out last weekend. Ugh, lots of fun, fun starts, so go check it out. I'll link her down below so that you can see. But I have a finish. No idea how I'm gonna finish it, but exciting, exciting. And I did, I had a lot of fun with the 24 hours cross stitch. I joined the Facebook group and got a chance to see what other people were stitching. And boy, some of you did it in 24 hours straight. I, mm -mm, nope, nope, too old for that. <laughs> but it was fun. And it was nice to be part of a community event and something, um, even while staying home. So I like that a lot. Now, whips. I only have two because I've been busting through my, uh, my charts to try to get ready for Mania. Now, one thing to realize with Mania, I am starting one a week or four starts, but I, I know I'm gonna stitch on some whips as well, uh, maybe pull out some old ones, continue with these, because I don't see myself for a full week stitching on just the one project. And then especially as the month goes on, I'll have those other starts that then I can pull into. So by the fourth week, I'll have three, start, three whips from previous weeks and the new start. So then it'll be, um, a lot of bigger stitching but right now i'm just busting through the small this whip is august cottage a work in progress from country cottage needleworks this one is done on the back side of the vintage country mocha so it's the side without any of the variations and that's what i have so far this roof was oh my gosh it's two oh, it's only two colors but boy did I, you had to really pay attention and count and I count and double count just to make sure I get it. So I did not get as far down through the house as I thought I would um, because that, that roof took me a lot of time. But now hopefully it should go a little bit faster. My goal is to get the house finished because you know me in houses this week and then maybe over the weekend. And then I can just work on the the stuff with the trees on the side and then it's got a cute bottom border of waves with a with a little chair so I'm looking forward to stitching that so that's the first whip the second whip I love stitching this one this is from Annie B's folk art and it is called widow's walk it is stitched on blue ice dyed fabric from Garibaldi's they are still experiencing delays so and I think right now, I'm not sure you can even see, they might have their shop on a vacation of sorts. 
Um, hold off. They have some great, great colors. Hold off a little while longer though because they're still trying to catch up if you wanted to look at buying from them. I'd wait a little longer. Um, this is what I've got. So the big focus was the grass and then finishing up a little bit up at the top. The called for red, I switched to 349 because I liked it better. And then it called for where you see white, a lot of that was all ecru and I wanted it to, to pop out with white. So I changed that up as well. So now, now we're getting to the big stuff. We've got the water, which is not just one color. There are different, some different colors mixed in at some points and the whale, which will take a long time. But I am super happy. I don't, I'm still debating on the words. My goal right now is to stitch everything but the words. And if I like it the way it is, I may just keep it. But I love it on this fabric and I'm enjoying the stitch a lot. It's my first Annie B's and I definitely want to try some more because I really like her work and how she charts and the stitching. So I'm enjoying that one a lot. Now you know, for every week that I've come to you in the month of April, I always had a start. And Thursday came, yesterday came, and I was feeling the need for a little bit of a start. It was really dreary from the overnight into yesterday morning, so there was never, never a bright spot to the day, and I said, I need a start. But I didn't want anything really big, and I had printed off, I wanna say, I don't know if this is officially part of the be well and stitch hashtag that um, designers are putting out free designs during this time to help people be able to stitch and you know stitch from stash is encouraged although they do have um, symbols of and suggested colors and things like that but um, this one is from Lizzie Kate and it's called be kind be happy be well and I'm just going to put it back here for a minute. I am not going to stitch the stuff on the side here. And I will probably do the two little flowers. I'm not 100% sure on that. And I'm doing all my own colors. So I don't have a lot. Yesterday, the weather was tricky. And um, I have arthritis in my chest. And it was definitely acting up. Um, so even sitting and stitching was bothering me. So I would do a little, then take a break, do a little, take a break. And fingers crossed, I think the weather may turn for the weekend. So if you have a moment to think sunny thoughts for me out here uh, on the East Coast, please do so. Up in New England, it's been a tough spring so far. But this is what we have. Now, this is stitched on, it's a very pale blue. It's called Misty Morning from Vintage Needle Arts. Um, this is, so I'm gonna do three different shades of blue. And I know it's tough to see right now. Once, once I have the whole block, I think this B will come out better. Um, the B kind, and then the word down here, which will be B well, uh, will be in the dark. And then a medium blue I'm gonna do here for be happy. And then I think I'll do some sort of pretty like rosy reddish type of color for the flowers over there. So that's what I have so far. My, this has to come, although the flowers will be here, this block has to come down as well. My daughter looked at it and she said, you have to do all of that blank spots with stitches. I said, yep. And she's like, oh boy. <laughs> but you know, it's it, I've got the outline, well, at least on this side. I know the flower, once I get the flowers in, I'll definitely have the outline. And then it's just, Kind of mindless stitching so it's a very cute pattern um i don't know if i even had most of the colors but then i thought i'll just do my own anyway and um it is on lizzie kate's blog i believe is where i found it and i thought you know be kind be happy be well is perfect for any time obviously right now it has special meanings uh while we're in lockdowns but i think going forward at any time it would be a pretty one to have out so that's and it's a nice i'm doing it at 18 count like i said with other stuff so it'll be a nice little small um what i'll do with that small i don't know but uh the other be well and stitch pattern that i did i did it on a blue a darker blue so i may keep like a blue theme as i as i work through some of these and continue working on them 
that's my thought anyway. We'll see. The designers were so generous with all their patterns that I have a bunch pulled out or printed, but you know, if I'm changing the colors, I'm not really experienced with that. So I have to get myself in the right mindset to do it. Otherwise I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I am not, and I can do it with stamps and paper and inks all day. I have no problem with that. But with the with the flosses and the fabrics, I'm constantly second guessing myself, which is so funny because, like I said, I can throw a bunch of inks and cardstock down, and I know exactly what I want to do, and what I want for a color combo. But I haven't gotten there yet with stitching. Hopefully soon. And shopping. I don't have a lot this week. I had a couple things come from back order, so that was I wasn't even expecting them. Um, so that was a little happy surprise. And then other than that, only a couple patterns. I did order a bunch of DMC floss for my Mania Starts, but you don't need to see that, and that's already put away anyway. But what's exciting is the four patterns I do have are all new designers for me to stitch, so that's kind of fun, uh, discovering new new designers. So the first one is from La Dida. It's called Something Wicked. Love this, so cute, I love that boot. And I think fun fabric, I, I really wanna try some to look for some really fun fabric because that I think would really jump out something bright and something I wouldn't normally use for a lot of my patterns. Now I have some hands on design, but I've not stitched any yet. And this one's called On Beach Time. I thought that was cute. The next two, I can't, I can't say them right. So I apologize ahead of time as I massacre their names. Pantini Pantini. This one is When I Think of Summer. So she has all four seasons, which are all adorable. I only bought one to start because I wanted to stitch it up and see how I liked it before I bought any more. But I love these patterns. So if I do like how it stitches, I'll definitely going back for more. And then along the seasonal lines, I also got Manny Didana. This pattern has all four of the seasons in it. I definitely love doing the different seasons. This, it's funny, um, they're all in this uh, little booklet here, but they're small. I normally don't make uh, working copies of my stuff. I usually just stitch looking at it and, and don't mark anything up, but I think I might make copies of these and enlarge them because I think I might have a little trouble <laughs> seeing the pattern. But the patterns look good otherwise and easy enough to stitch. But that is the last of the four. And that's it, that's all I got. So um, plans, well, like every, well, I shouldn't say like everybody else, unless you're watching Mania, then it's kind of a plan too. But like many others, my plan is Mania. Uh, even though I'm only starting one project a week, you know I'll be stipping, stitching some of my works in progress, and as each week goes on with the month, then I can go back to some of the other ones that I've started uh, as well. I still am waiting on fabric for two of the four patterns, so I know those two are going to be at the end of the month, and I have an idea of which one I wanna start with. Whether or not I wait till Monday, I'm so excited with May being here that I might have to start it a little early this weekend, maybe. Uh, it would be a chance just to get going. Just so excited, super excited for May, and uh, all the fun that'll go with it, with the community, and we are probably in lockdown for quite some time yet, so this is a way for me to be a part of something even though I'm still home. So I am really excited and cannot wait to see what everybody else is doing as well. There's so many new designers I'll be interested, introduced to, and that makes it half the fun as well. So I hope you are well. We are getting through this together. Thank you so much for being here with me and spending time with me and keeping me going too. You mean a lot. Thank you so much, my stitchy friends. Until next time, happy stitching.